Okay, okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm not offended. She might be offended, but not me. All right, so how was your day? What did you do today? I watch TV. I watch TV. And? All day. <laughs> yeah. I watch, I watch TV all day and um, read the book. Read. And you, so you watch TV all day. I bet you it was in Vietnamese channels. Yeah. And I bet you the book you read was all Vietnamese. Yes. So why are you not practicing your English? <laughs> Because uh, I am not good English. <laughs> And oh my, oh my, oh my. You need to practice as much as you can. Watch some English movies, English shows, English books, English cartoons. Get more exposure. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot in the long run. All right. So are you ready for your test, finally? Yes. All right. So what are you going to do? Are we going to do homeschooling or terrible holidays or time capsules? Our worst holiday ever. All right. Worst holiday ever. That's what we're going to do. All right. So you know the drill? You're gonna read to me and then tell me about the story. Tell me about the, it's about a girl, right? Does it say her name? Elena's holiday, yeah. So you'll have to tell me about Elena's holiday. And then I will ask you some questions. You have to try to tell me without reading so I can score your use of grammar with your sentence structures, structures, things like that. And the use of vocabulary that you have. And of course, most importantly, how much did you understand of the story you read to me. All right? So no problem, piece of cake. Easy, easy. Easy? Easy, easy. I don't think so. Oh, I just put it in your head. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and tell me the story. Read the story. Okay. Our worst holiday ever. It was The summer holidays and our family were renting an apartment for a week near the beach. We all went to the beach on the first day and it was fantastic. I did lots of surfing. The sea was really warm. Um, while? While mom and dad, time, yeah. While mom and dad were reading their books, my brother Pavel. Pavel, yeah, it's a Russian name. Pavel. Was building a really big sand castle. He was happy, happy for hours. On the first every evening, mom and dad were cooking soup. Super well, while while Paver was playing with his twice toys, I was chatting to my friends on the internet when my computer stopped working. There was not electricity in the apartment. We had to eat our supper in the dark. The electric city didn't come on again until the next morning. On, on the next day, we went to the market. While we were shopping, 
the sun was shining and it was hot. But then suddenly, suddenly dark clouds came over and it started to rain re really hard that drove us back to the apartment. When we got back, got back, the rain was coming into Pavel's bedroom, and his bed was very wet. So for the rest of the holiday, he had to share my bedroom. At the end of the holiday, mom and dad were cleaning the apartment. When suddenly that uh, shouted, I shouted, oh no, Pavel and I ran into the kitchen. Dad was looking into a cupboard under the sink. We looked and at the back of the cupboard. We saw a family of mice. We packed our suitcases and left uh, the apartment very quickly. We were all really glad to get home. Yeah, all glad to get home. Not such a nice holiday. What about you? Have you had a holiday this year or recently? When was the last time you had a holiday? No. No holidays? Yeah. When? When was the last time you had a holiday? Last time holiday? Yeah. Mm. I um the last the last time holiday is um was a tour a journey uh, to go to Dallas city you went to Dallas okay yeah. how was it's that so, it's so very beautiful yeah so you had so, a so many flowers i heard lots of flowers there so it was a good holiday it wasn't bad um, <laughs> um, I, um, I went uh, to uh, a zoo, a zoo in Dala. <laughs> the animal is so very cute, but, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. You were yeah. scared of the animals. Yeah. Oh, they have a zoo in Dalat. Yeah. So what little animals were so cute but scary? Um, kangaroo. Kangaroos? Yeah. Can kangaroo. Sheep. Horse. Uh, <laughs> camel. A camel? Uh, yeah. And many, many. Oh, the, Ruby had fun too. Yeah. Yeah. And your yeah. hotel, everything was nice, no problems. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, so tell me about Elena. Elena didn't have a good holiday. She wasn't happy with cute little animals. Tell me about her holiday. What happened to her? Um. What happened? Yeah, why was it such a bad holiday? Bad holiday? Mm. Here. She. Ah, she. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm not offended. She might be offended, but not me. <laughs> so where did they go? Hmm. She um uh, she were rent she 
she was renting an apartment for a week near the beach. Yeah, that's right. Um, her family, um, her family, uh, went to the beach on uh, the first day, and and it was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. What were they doing at the beach? What were they having a good time doing? What was she doing? What was Alan doing? She didn't. She didn't surfing. Uh, surfing the sea. She didn't surfing the sea. She was surfing the sea. She did I lots of surfing. Did. She said yeah. she did lots of surfing. Uh huh. Yeah. What was Pavel doing? The little brother. Brother. Uh huh. Pavel, her little brother. A little brother. Pavel. Mm -hmm. Pavel. Mm. A Russian name. So Alana did lots of surfing on the first day. She had lots of fun in the water. Pavel was building something in the sand. Mom and dad were doing something else. What were they doing? Pa pa Pavel was playing with his with his toys with his with a uh, his, his toys yes and mom uh, and dad mom and dad what were mom and dad doing at the beach that first day mom and dad mom and dad where ah mom and dad were reading their books Ah, they were sitting on the beach reading their books. Pavel wasn't playing with his toys. He was yeah. building a, a sand castle. Sand castle? Yeah, he was building ah, a ah. castle in the sand. Ah, okay, I see. Brother Pavel was building a really big sand castle. He was happy for hours. Okay. That's right. All right. So then all of a sudden things started going bad. What's the first thing that happened that night when they went back to the apartment? What happened? Mm. She was on her computer and all of a sudden, what happened to them? Mom and dad were cooking supper. Mm. What happened? An earthquake? Hurricane? Tornado? Tsunami? What happened to them the first night? Uh, work. There was not electricity in the apartment. That's right. All the power went out. No electricity. <laughs> so what did it's they have to do? Dark. Yeah. No I can no, see. No computer, no internet. Yeah. What did they, what else did they did they have to do with no electricity? Her family had to eat our supper in dark. The electricity didn't come on again until the next So they had morning. to sit in the dark all night long. So that means they wouldn't yeah. have had fans or AC. They're on a summer holiday at the beach, so it's probably hot. Yeah. So it was just terrible. What's it's the very worst, yeah. Yeah, no internet, no Facebook, no YouTube. It's boring, yeah. No TV. <laughs> Can't even read a book. It's too dark. So what happened on the next day? They went to the market. What happened? Mm, next morning, um, where? Ah, on the next already. day, we went to uh, uh, her family went uh, went to the market. Um, while while they, they were shopping, um, 
the sun was shining and it was hot, but then suddenly dark clouds came over and it started to rain really hard. Mm. I see you're reading the story to me. I need you to tell me in your words from what you remember and understood when you read the story. Yeah. Uh huh. So they came back because it was reading, but then it was raining a lot. And then when they got back to the apartment, there was another problem. What was the other problem because of the rain? What mm -hmm. happened in the apartment that day? They had not electricity. Not electric. Now, well, the electricity came back in the morning. And then they went to the market, but then it started raining. And then they went back home. And what happened then? When they got home, it's like, oh, my God. Oh my God, what? Oh, what? Apple's bedroom. bedroom. Look at the pictures. What happened in Pavel's bedroom? Mm. Bedroom. Ah, it's so very wet. Yeah, why was his bed so wet? What happened? Uh, the rain was coming into our bedroom. Yeah, there were leaks and the rain was coming into the bedroom. So the bed was wet, the water was coming in the bedroom. And then, of course, where did Pavel have to sleep? Hmm. <laughs> to sleep with his sister. That's why Elena was not happy because now Pavel had to spend the rest of the holiday in Elena's room. So what was the last thing? They were cleaning up the apartment and all of a sudden dad shouted, what happened then? Well, I don't know if it was the end of the holiday because they left early, I think. Why was dad shouting in the kitchen? Why was he shouting? Mm. What happened in the kitchen? <laughs> oh, my. All right, so this is what we got to focus on. And I can see they opened the cupboards and there were mice, a family of mice all in the kitchen. Can you imagine all these mice living in your kitchen? Mice, plural for a mouse, yeah? Or maybe rats. So what we have to focus on now, like I think your reading skills are really good. Um, most of your pronunciation was strong. And when you were telling me about Dalat, you're making your information fairly clear. We still have to work on grammar, but everybody does. Um, and more vocabulary. That's why we always do so much vocab, the vocab challenge at the beginning of the class, because the most important thing to be good at English is you have to have a lot of vocabulary. Then you can put sentences together much easier, right? And then once you have a lot of vocabulary, then you can start focusing on how to put the sentences together and use the grammar. So step by step. Um, so that's why we run our classes the way we run it. But what we have to, what you have to focus on now uh, for testing is that you should try to review a little bit before your test because you have to be able to understand what you read. So like if I read the story about, right, like, you know, the book is closed. I can, if you ask me, tell me the story. Oh, what was the story about? Not reading. I have to remember, understand what, and it's not remembering, it's understanding what you read. Right. So what I should what I could say, uh, yeah, the story was about Elena and her family who rented an apartment by the beach. It, it, it started off really nice. They were all at the beach having a great day. She did a lot of surfing. Mom and dad were reading their books. My little brother, Pavel, was building a big sandcastle. He was busy for hours. 
But then when they went home that night, that's when it started. I was writing emails and chatting with my friends on my computer and poof, the power went out. Mom and dad were cooking dinner, cooking our supper. We had to eat dinner all in the dark. And then we had no electricity. I, I couldn't chat on Facebook anymore. Ah, I wanted to die. Somebody kill me. And then, and then when I tried to sleep, I couldn't sleep because there's no fan and there's no AC. I hate my life. I want to die. Yes, surfing in the, the internet. Can't surf on the internet. No electricity, yeah? yeah? And then the next day, we thought, okay, fine. The electricity came back. No big deal. We'll, have, we'll still have a good holiday. But no, we go to the market, it's beautiful, it's sunny, it's hot. And then all of a sudden it starts raining really hard. We didn't have umbrellas, we were all wet, we had to go home again. And then when we get home, Pavel's bedroom is flooding. Water's coming in on the bed and everything is wet. And then Pavel has to sleep with me for the rest of the holiday. I want to die, oh my God. <laughs> And then, uh, and then uh, what else happened after that? Oh, and then the next day, dad was cleaning in the kitchen and he screamed out. And so we all ran in to see what was going on. And oh my God, there was a whole family of mice in the kitchen. That was it. We had enough of this holiday. We packed all our bags and we went home. We were all so happy to go home. Hmm. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Of course, not as fluent as I did it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm the teacher. It's easier for me. But this is what we want you to be able to do when you read something. To be able to retell the story in your words. And then that's when you really know how much, how good your English is getting and how fluent you can start speaking. That's why we have to build up the vocabulary. And that's why we have to practice grammar structures. And that's why when we test, you got to remember what we read. <laughs> I can remember a lot of words. <laughs> well, that's why we do these classes. You will. You just started. You know, a lot of the students with us have been with us for a few years. So, you know, they've had a lot of practice. So don't give up. You're a really good reader and, and your English is very good. But we need to fine tune it. And fix it a little bit, yeah? Improve it. Yeah. All right, good job. So next Friday, no, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Is next Saturday is the beginning of Interest 16. So I hope we see you there. See you so See you next week. Okay, bye bye. Have a nice day. You too. Go watch some more TV. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. No, do some <laughs> exercise. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Good night.